Hello from Discovery College. It's great to be able to speak to you today. And the first thing I'd like to cover in this short video is a thank you to our outgoing PTA committee members. We had the AGM uh, here at Discovery College last night. A new committee was uh, elected and I'll speak about them in a moment, but to our outgoing members and particularly to our chair, Jane, who is standing down uh, this year, we want to say a really big thank you for your leadership, especially in the challenging times of the last few years. So the new committee takes over and Bashuli Sane has been uh, stepping forward to be our new chair and we're really looking forward to the contribution that Bashuli will, uh, will make. Uh, if you miss the AGM, uh, definitely your chance to get involved is not over. You can email Bashuli on the email that is appearing on screen at the moment. She and the committee would love to hear from you and there are lots of opportunities to join the committee if you would like, but also just to volunteer and to be connected to events. All sorts of things that might be possible this year that haven't been possible for a while in terms of parent events, speaker events, quizzes and splash parties and food fairs and all sorts of things uh, that we're discussing uh, so if you'd like to be part of that please do get in touch and I know that the PTA would really really love to hear from you. Uh, also, uh, I want to give you a quick update on some issues that were connected to a really hopeful and positive message that you will have seen from our Chief Executive Officer, Belinda Greer, earlier this week. Uh, so the government has been in touch with some new arrangements which start to offer some new possibilities for us. As yet, it's a little bit unclear exactly what it will mean for Discovery College, but I can give you some headlines. Uh, we're pretty hopeful that on the 1st of December, the college will be able to meet some important thresholds that allows us to change up how eating spaces work a little bit at the college. Now that might not sound like much but it is actually a big deal particularly because it is likely to lead to us being able to utilize the second floor gym for what you might call normal purposes. Uh, for the last uh, little bit of time it's been involved in our eating spaces and so it's kind of been out of action in a sense. Um, this allows it to come back into uh, the daily life of the college and that really helps with our PE program, it helps with sports fixtures, it helps with whole school events of all sorts of, uh, of, of, of natures. Um, so it's really good news if that is the way that we're able to travel. Now there is an important request I have in connection with this. The college meets those thresholds as of the 1st of December as we currently understand it. But as of the 1st of February, the thresholds raise and the thresholds are about vaccination rates. So one of the things that is really helpful is where families are able to keep the ESF app updated with their child's vaccination status. So my request to you please, if you could visit the app have a quick look at the vaccination information that's stored for your child uh, and if it's right you don't need to do anything but if it's out of date if you could please update it and give us the latest picture that just really helps us to be able to make sure that all of our learning spaces and all of our operational spaces are in use for your child and for other children to have a great experience here at Discovery College. So thank you in anticipation for your help with, with that, that important matter. So talking of good news and moving in the right direction, uh, our Head of Primary, Emma Louise Cathray, joined me earlier to talk about an important development with parent drop-off, and here's what she had to say. So good morning, Emma Louise, on this beautiful sunny day here at Discovery College. Uh, there's an important change about to take place. Would you mind telling us a little bit more about it, please? Oh, we are very excited. Um, so for the past few years, we haven't been able to have a lot of parents inside the school building for drop-off. The new change, which I've said we are super excited about, um, is that year one parents are going to be able to drop off their children at the year one classrooms. Fantastic, which, which is a big moment, which is, uh, which is great to see. Now obviously there are still some COVID regulations in place, so what requirements would parents need to meet if they wanted to drop their child off in the morning? So we still need to make sure that all the children are safe inside the school building and that each other are kept safe. And so we request that parents are rat testing on a morning and showing their um, stay at home safe app. And that will be all taken place at the front of the school building. You will need to show that as you walk into the school. Fantastic. And I'm sure parents might be wondering, does this affect the afternoon uh, pickup in any way? Does it have an impact there? It doesn't actually. Um, obviously we love seeing parents at any point in the day, um, but at the moment what we're saying is that just on a morning we would like you to come into campus in year one. On an evening when you pick up your child, it'll still be outside the school gates. Fantastic. And just finally, uh, obviously it's something that we haven't really done these last few years, so we might be a bit out of practice and as well as being operational spaces, they're also learning spaces in the morning in those classrooms. So what do parents need to bear in mind as they drop their child off? It's really important at the moment for us to remember that when the music starts at 8.18, that that's the point in which parents need to start vacating the school building. Um, and also, 
because it is our year ones, just to be really mindful that that's an important time to leave the school, mainly because we don't want children getting upset that their parents are there and potentially not other parents are there. Um, so it's really important when that music does start playing that we do start leaving the campus. Fantastic, and I'm sure our parents will help us there. It's going to be great to have parents back through the corridors of the school in this way, and I'm sure more good things to come. So yeah. thank you very much. No, thank you, thank you. So thank you to Emma Louise for covering some of those important uh, developments there. So the last thing I'd like to say in this short video is happy Diwali. Diwali is celebrated by a large number of our families and however your family may have been marking the occasion earlier this week, I hope it was a wonderful festival of lights, a wonderful occasion uh, to spend time together. That's all from me. Bye for now.